Hi well, everyone, I've got outside again. Not totally blue skies, a few clouds, but it's dry. And it's not too bad for, what is it? May the 16th, 2023. And I'm gonna look through um, what events are coming up through to Sunday the 21st of May. And uh, I'll do it in chronological order rather than in the uh, magnitude of the event, shall we say. Um, starting tonight, Tuesday, 16th, we've got a British Milers Club meeting at Trafford. Um, the start lists are on the British Milers Club website, as they normally are, very well organised with the pacing and everything else. Um, some good quality athletes, nothing I particularly want to pick out. I'm not sure if there's a live stream, you often get something on um, Instagram with the Trafford BMC, so look out for that on social media. Um, Having said that, yeah, the women's 800, interesting. We've got Sarah McDonald and Lindsay Sharp um, with the pace being set at 60 seconds through 400. So, yeah, both of those athletes trying to re-establish themselves for various reasons after injuries and pregnancies, etc. So, in Lindsay's case, of course. Um, so, yeah, looking forward to seeing uh, what progress they can make. And then we go on to Wednesday where there's two more British Miners Club meetings going on. One at Watford and one at Loughborough. Um, again, we've got the, all the start lists already up and well organised on the British Miners Club website. So that's all good. And then we go through to Saturday and the weekend where you know, perhaps one of the biggest, um, the most anticipated events of the year to look forward to is the the night of the 10,000 meter PBs put on by Ben Pochi and the team uh, of volunteers which is on at Highgate on the Parliament Hill track and always very interesting angles to look at this year perhaps the standard at the sharp end isn't quite what it has been for example last year but Having said that, there's some extremely interesting British interest and competitive races going on. Um, it is being shown on the BBC Red Button, which is now channel 971 Sky from 8 o'clock on Saturday. The women's A race, if you want to call it that, or international race is at 8.40pm and the men's is at 9.25pm, so quite late. Um, but the full live stream is available um, it's on the, the night of the 10,000 PB's YouTube channel uh, and if you want a really good uh, preview of the event and some of the athletes running listen to the Sunday podcast um, that, that's a podcast obviously with uh, Matt Seddon and Ollie Lum who go through the field but just just as a, a quick uh, introduction to the, the fields from the women's point of view, we've got Jess Judd, who's done 30.35 for 10,000. Wayne E. Clarty, who's done 31.10. Sam Harrison, British, 31.23. Edna Kurgat, who's done 31.21. Uh, there's an Ethiopian, Harwi Faser, who's done 31.03, but has run 8.31 for 3K indoors, and 14.46 for 5,000. And then Brit from the British interest, um, loads of good Brits running, and I would suspect a few of them will step up and surprise us. Uh, but there's people like Amy Eloise Markov, Amelia Quirk, Abby Donnelly, who's been really, running really well, Verity Ockenden, who's making a little bit of a, a comeback after not racing too much. So lots of interest there, from, especially from a British point of view on the women's side. The men's side, a bit more scattered in terms of nationality. Um, the star of the show is probably Paul Chilimo, the American who's 32 years old now, but he's um, he's got two Olympic medals over 5,000 metres, one, one silver and one bronze. He's run 12.57 for 5,000. PB for 10,000 is 27.43, but I can't believe he's coming over here to dilly-dally around. He ran a 7.39 in France and won for three, over 3,000 recently. Um, but who knows? Uh, we've got Stanley Rathika. Rathika has done 27.13. Japanese Ren Tozawa who's done 27.23 and then we've got uh, some of the uh, Brits or domestic uh, runners like Andy Butchart who's done 27.36 most recently ran the 
fastest leg at the National 12 Stage Road Relays in April. Uh, we've got the Mohammed brothers, Zach and Mohammed, running, um, looking probably to get close to 28 minutes. Uh, Ephraim G'day, G'day from Ireland, who's done 27.59, but you know I watched him at Bristol 5K recently. He looked pretty impressive and. Uh, I think right, running full of confidence, so he might be looking to go well inside 28 minutes. Uh, don't be thrown by the Cripper from Italy listed. It's not the winner from last year's event. It's his brother, who not quite such um, an established athlete at uh, top quality at times, but he ran 2.12 in the Rome Marathon in March. So that's the Italian running. So that's the um, night of the 10,000 PBs. There's also this year as a bit, bit of an aside, I think a good idea, give some under 17s and under 20s some experience of the atmosphere with about a crowd of about 5,000 people watching. There's some, some races over 800 metres for them going on during the programme. First event is at three o'clock. I say the last event is at 25 past nine, so quite a long evening for some, um, but hopefully good entertainment all round. Then, on Sunday, there's more on the BBC because there's the Great Manchester 10K going on on Sunday morning. It's been shown on BBC One. Mo Farah making one of his final appearances in the UK on the roads. He's done that before. He's won. He's won the uh, Great Manchester 10K before. I believe he's up against Ellis Cross. Um, maybe he's seen as his nemesis in a little bit because he beat him in the London race uh, not so long ago. Famed race. Uh, I can't get a full list of the elite field, so I can't tell you too much about who else is running, but that's on BBC One on Sunday morning. And then uh, Sunday, well, throughout the day, is the Loughborough International, which, from the sounds of it, I think is going to be on Avinco Sport, but there's not much publicity about the live stream yet, but I picked that up, and I saw it is available on the USA uh, subscription channel, um, Runner Space. It was shown on the Loughborough Sport YouTube in 2021, um, but I suspect if I had to have a punt, it's going to be on Vinco Sport, so look out for that. Uh, first event is at 10.50 in the morning, goes right through to 20 past six. Uh, again, I haven't got a list of starters yet. That's not been publicized. Uh, very difficult for the organizers because there's nothing like um, being interrupted by two barking golden retrievers, that's the dangers of going outside. Car door, people talking, anything might set them off. But anyway, yeah, difficult for the organisers to list the lineups and even organise the races because there's teams from England and the other home countries. Uh, there's a Nas National Athletics League team, uh, there's a GB Junior team, and of all of them, the only one I can really find is the Welsh team on the Welsh Athletics website currently. So, so very, even the England team might not be announced till Wednesday the 17th. So it makes it a bit tough on the organisers putting it all together, but I'm sure it'll be a good event and gives quite a few people a chance of uh, an international vest. Um, if you Google the event, you can see there's a Loughborough uh, International Athletics page. And you scroll down and you can see the timetable. Um, yeah, it should be some good races and mix of you know some good good distance races but yeah it goes up to 3,000 meters uh, but there's also some really good sprinting going on there's no doubt as there usually is up there um, the forecast looks reasonable for the whole weekend so fingers crossed for that um, yeah and I hope everybody has um, a good few days of athletics see you next week